What is up everybody and welcome back to a Halloween special edition of Beardy Tour. As always, I am your faithful and forever host, Mr. Miguel Brambila. Uh, Halloween is upon us. It's coming up this weekend on a Monday, which is kind of lame, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I was reminiscing the other day, guys, about when I was a kid and the differences between when I was a kid and kids nowadays. And if you're an adult or you're on my age, you're probably, uh, you probably remember back in the day, it was a little bit different. We would gather at an aunt's house or an uncle's house, and then they would shove us all into a little minivan uh, and shuttle us to uh, the hill. The hill because that's where all the, the big houses were. You know, the expensive houses, the people that actually had some cash to buy uh, the name brand type of candy. Uh, they would drop us off, they would give us a trash bag. There was none of this plastic or pre-made Halloween toys type of containers. It was literally, here's a plastic bag, go get candy, I'll meet you guys up around the block. And that was it. They would push us out of the van, we would sprint, towards the front houses, and if you got left behind, I mean, you were never seen from again, uh, we would hop over fences, go through bushes, climb trees, I mean, go through ditches, some of us got left in ditches, who knows what happened to those kids, but we would go from house to house, running at full speed. It was a different time, and this, let me remind you guys, this was at 9 or 10 p.m. at night. So none of this, like, two in the afternoon type of trick-or-treating. This was 9 to 10 p.m. darkness, like, people would uh, run through bushes, you know, uh, trip over gnomes, get bitten by dogs, I mean, you know, it's out there. And again, no parental, no being held by the hand, going house to house. It was literally like, get off, spray, I'll meet you on the other side. And that was it. So you guys can see where the differences are already there. Uh, we would jump in the van, go all the way home. And the first thing we would do is start eating all the candy. None of this save the candy, or let me look through the candy to see if there's anything weird on any chemicals or, uh, you know, razor blades, anything, no fentanyl. No, no, there was none of that. We would literally just grab the candy, start eating it. Some of it didn't even have labels. Some of the, the wrappers aren't even in there. Like you pick something out, you'd be like, it looks like a mini Snickers. Yeah. And you would eat it and that was it. That was Halloween for us growing up. So there's a big difference now. Now, strangely enough, and this has started to happen more and more recently, uh, especially around here, um, is trunk or treat. And that sounds even stranger to me. I mean, think about it. You pull up to a parking lot and you open your trunk and you pour a bunch of candy in there and then you want kids to go grab the candy out of the trunk of the car. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how that would work. But nowadays, you know, we don't really do much. Uh, if you have a kid, you just steal their candy. Other than that, you go buy a bunch of candy and just keep it for yourself and just watch uh, horror movies all day. That's what I like to do. Uh, but it's still fun. You know, it's still fun to dress up and go out and just have a good time. So hopefully you guys do that this weekend. Uh, but today, today is a very special day for me because I've been holding on to something for quite some time. In fact, um, this brewery brought this out in the beginning of the month and it was supposed to be for limited quantities and it was only being released in different locations. Not everywhere, but in select locations in Washington State. I don't know if it went outside of Washington, uh, but as soon as I knew it, I had to search for it and I found the first story that I saw. I found it, I grabbed it, and I've been keeping it in my fridge ever since. So today, we're breaking this bad boy open. Let's do this. <laughs> I have a treat for you guys today. We're doing a review of Elysian Chucky Pumpkin Whip Beer with Cranberry Limited Edition. Check this one out, guys. Uh, so I saw Elysian Brewery out of Seattle drop a trailer for this uh, in the beginning of October, and immediately I knew I had to have it. It was one of those that looked super cool, and they said it was a limited edition, so I had to go reach out and grab it. I did, and I've been storing it ever since. I've been wanting to try this one for a very long time. And today is the day, my friends. Hopefully that comes out a little bit on camera there. So I guess this is in collaboration with the series, uh, Chucky, that's coming out on uh, USA and Sci-Fi. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nothing screams Halloween quite like Chucky. That's true. Uh, in celebration of the second season of the TV series, USA Network and Sci-Fi have paired up with Elysian Brewing Company uh, to bring something killer to life. Just like the iconic doll, this beer will be your friend till the very end. That's cool. Uh, saturated with blood red cranberry juice and entangled with pumpkin that's been mangled into puree, the beer is light in color with the spine chilling flavor of chamomile and cinnamon. Uh, the perfect combination of everything you love about the season. Even Chucky would agree this true classic, this is a true classic that never goes out of style. I have my reservations about that. Uh, as many of you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the pumpkin flavored beers that come around during this season, uh, but I get it, you know, it, it's the whole theme of it. Um, pumpkin whipped beer with cranberry, a killer 
with beer. Elysian Chucky. I'm not sure if this is still out there in the wild. I got it uh, from this local sort of wine and spirits place where they bring in a lot of imported and a lot of uh, craft beer that's elective. Um, but I heard that they were bringing some of these out in select uh, 7-Eleven stores. So be on the lookout. You might see it. Looks very interesting. The flavors uh, stand out to me because uh, it does remind me almost more, not of a fall beer, but more like a winter beer. If you're familiar with those, there's more cinnamon, more, um, there's more spices with those. So, you know, I was really looking forward to the cranberry aspect of it, but the pumpkin flavor, maybe not so much. This is Elysian's Chucky, a killer wheat beer. <laughs> So right off the bat, this color is very surprising. I thought it was gonna be more cranberry color, like a blood red. I thought that's what it said. Huh. Obviously it's more of a, uh, a yellow. Hmm. Um, golden color, of course. Pineapple golden color. Uh, hmm. Okay, smells very seasonal, smells very spicy. Spice heavy. Cinnamon, cardamom. Hmm, a little. Yeah, a little flowery. Overall, yeah, a little flower, a little floral, um, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't smell, you know, very, very hoppy. It doesn't smell citrus, citrusy, kind of floral, uh, cinnamon. It's interesting. Mm. Let's take a little good look there in this sunny side. L, Summer L Festival glass that I got here. These are, these are really cool. Um, so here we go. Let's test this bad boy out. Let's give it that old taste test. Elysian Chucky, a killer wheat beer. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> okay. I'm a little hesitant because the, the aftertaste is coming. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Uh, yeah, it's not too much pumpkin flavor in there. It's it's not bad. I like it. I mean uh, It's not to my personal taste test as you guys probably my personal taste preferences should I say um, I prefer a lot of bitter hoppy beer. This one is very spice heavy Definitely can taste the cinnamon and the aftertaste is where that uh, That cranberry comes in that floral Almost semi-sweet cranberry, pungent cranberry, that's coming in at the very end, which is which is good because it actually covers the pumpkin flavor. So instead of getting that sort of stale pumpkin flavor, I mean if you guys like that, then you're probably uh you're probably not gonna like this, but I don't like that pumpkin flavor. And if you're like me, this one with the cranberry at the very end really covers it up really well. So I, I like this one. Now, is it gonna be something that I'm gonna recommend to family and friends? Well, with this one, it, it's a limited edition. It's a limited edition and almost like an interesting, uh, something weird, something strange, which is what I always harp about. I love to have people s try different things that are weird and strange, but also something that's not too unpalatable for them. I like to for them to try something that they might like so that way they can get interesting and buy their own, uh, or kind of research their own type of beers um, and then find their own taste, their own palate. And uh, I don't think I would recommend this one family and friends unfortunately because this one's like this one is you gotta have a, a a certain flavor profile build up to this one basically is what i'm trying to say it's uh made for definitely the beer connoisseur and um it's something that you really have to find a taste for so i don't think the normal person the normal beer drinker out there is probably gonna like this one but if you're into craft beers and you're into trying interesting beers i would say give it a shot just because it's something new to try out so I'm not going to recommend this to family and friends. That gets a thumbs down, unfortunately, for me. Uh, but to the beer connoisseurs or to people that uh, just want to try it just because it has Chucky on the, on, the, on the label there, I would say go ahead and give it a shot if you're into cranberry and if you're into that spicy cardamom, uh, cinnamon type of flavor, pumpkin flavor. Uh, definitely give this a shot because you won't be disappointed with those flavors. They're definitely prevalent in this. Now, it's not too overpowering. It is very palatable, which means it's easy drinking. There's nothing harsh about it. And the best part I think about it is the very end where you can taste that little bit of uh, pungent cranberry. And that kind of, it kind of palate, it kind of 
removes any sort of bitter ending at the end that normally you would get with the pumpkin flavored beer that uh, cranberry really overpowers at the very end. Uh, so it's good. Very good. All right, beer friends, thank you for joining me on another beer adventure. This time we had Elysian's Chucky, a killer wheat beer on deck, tried it out. Uh, didn't recommend this to family and friends, but definitely to the beer connoisseur that appreciates the taste in a craft beer. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for joining me again. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you guys doing? Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. If you love everything and anything beer related, Beer Detour is your channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then you want to turn on the notification bell that we alerted every time a new video drops, which is every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for Top 5 Fridays. That one's getting really popular because it's not just about beer, it's everything. So I uh, select a Top 5 sort of title, anything and everything. It could be any Top 5 video games, movies, whatever. And I give you my Top 5 favorite of all time. And the way you can be featured for a Top 5 Friday is to leave a comment down below, a suggestion down below in the comments of a Top 5 Friday. I look through those, I find suggestions, and I feature them. And if you get featured, you'll get a shout out on the next week's episode, which is Fridays at 5 p.m. So make sure you tune in for Top 5 Fridays this Friday for a new episode as well. Besides that, I just want to wish you guys a happy and scary Halloween. And I will see you guys, of course, next time. See you guys. Happy Halloween.